Back in 2013, I had a dream and I woke up from the dream and what I saw in the dream was a, a tribe of people and I asked them what their names were and they were they said that they were the Tinananun. And then I also saw this musical instrument. I'm an instrument maker, so I ended up getting in the dream a full download of the of the instrument, you know, the measurements and how it was tuned and how it was played and everything. So I ended up making it, ended up researching, uh, trying to find this word Tinananun but uh, could not find anything on the internet, could not find anything from all of my anthropologist friends around the world. They did not know the word Thinananun. Actually, after six months or so, ended up running into a person uh, actually from that tribe. And I ended up going with this man to his people group called the Thinananun people. I ended up taking the instrument, the, the exact thing that I saw in the dream, I, I took it with me to this, the, the Thinananun. And I, I, I felt from the Lord that I, I needed to give it to the chief of the tribe. He was absolutely amazed by this instrument and he ended up talking with his other chiefs and they were saying, oh, this instrument, where did you get it from? I said, oh, I just kind of made it, you know. They're like, no, I'm serious. Where did you get this instrument from? They said, I, we got to show you something. They ended up taking me to their house of prayer, showing me that they have different instruments that, that, that worship different gods. Many, many years ago, they had this one instrument called the Salemba. And this instrument was the instrument that they worshiped the God of all gods. And they said that, that the day that I brought that instrument to them, um, I brought them the Salemba. And they believe that there was a lament that came out of that time that says, uh, the enemy has taken away the Salemba, therefore one day God is gonna restore it back to us. And the time that God redeems it back to us, and God is gonna call all of the righteous people to him. The thing is, is that we see that the gospel has been hidden in their culture for centuries. We have just not even realized it until now. And same for them, they haven't realized it, but the gospel of Jesus Christ has been hidden in their, in their culture and in their belief system, and now it's being revealed. And so they're wondering who this Jesus is. My friend Caleb's story is a testimony about miracle gifts from God. The miracle of music, the miracle of creativity, the miracle of how God speaks to us and directs us through scripture, and also through dreams and promptings of the Holy Spirit. The miracle of language and the miracle of the Word of God. All these miracles are resulting in the salvation of many people in the Philippines. The gospel has been spreading throughout the 100,000 Tinananon peoples scattered in remote mountain areas of the Philippines. So far, about 15 churches have been planted and many are being baptized and giving their lives to Christ. Wycliffe Bible translators train two indigenous translators who are now working with Philippine Translators Association to give the Tinananon tribe not only an instrument to worship God, but the complete word of God in their own language. We are excited and blessed to have Caleb play the Salimba on my composition of the book of James. Enjoy this short sample. the test and been approved he will receive the crown of life that God has promised he will receive the crown of life that God has promised
to those who love.